Thank you, Brian. We are also days away from seeing the Cincinnati Bengals play in their first AFC championship in more than 30 years. And stores around the Miami Valley are helping fans get ready for the game with some Bengals gear and goodies. 2 News reporter Riley Phillips takes us around to some of those businesses helping people get ready to roar. If you're looking to satisfy your sweet tooth and support the Bengals, Ashley's Pastry Shop in Oakwood has got you covered. Walking into Ashley's, you can feel the jungle fever. The pastry shop is decked out in orange and black, showing support for the home team. The Cincinnati Bengals are just an awesome team right now, and we need to show our support and have treats and goodies for our customers. That's what we're about. We're about bringing deliciousness into people's homes. From Bengals-themed cookies to orange frosted cupcakes, there's something for every fan to enjoy, and those treats are going fast as the Bengals continue their successful postseason run. Lots of orders for parties. Parties, people interested, you know, people taking them into the office and things like that. It's a great thing to celebrate in January. Across town, fans are looking to get decked out in orange and black. Bengals gear at Rally House is flying off the shelves. We've sold out of almost all of our jerseys. We only have three left and all of our socks sold out fast too. Employees say this playoff run is great for business. It's been very busy, very busy. Um, but we're keeping up pretty well and hopefully they can keep winning and all that and we can keep getting business going in here. Yeah, this is the busiest it's been since I started here in August. And while fans stock up ahead of the game, they remain optimistic about the outcome. I think we're going to win. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a close game. And the bakery is doing a contest every time the Bengals win, so make sure to look out on their Facebook page to see how you can be a winner too. Reporting in Oakwood, Riley Phillips, 2 News working for you.